I came to Stony Brook uh, in the beginning, in, in 1971. That's when the medical school was first started, so I'm like a founding mother. I guess, like a lot of other physician faculty arrived here, you know, the first thing you said is, where's the hospital? in the back of the nursing journals with a headline that said, once in a lifetime, a university hospital opens. I called, you know, I was to get an interview and I asked for directions. And they said, you take the LIE, go north on Nichols, and when you get to the Star Wars set, you'll know you're there. My initial part of my career was to be the hand surgeon and the first hand surgeon here. I came to an institution where everything was a first because we didn't, it hadn't been here before. I guess the part that I didn't quite get was we had no patients at that time, so. The doors on the hospital side had very big bulky chains with very gigantic padlocks. In other words, the hospital was not yet open. The building was still locked down. We were doing things like figuring out where new equipment needed to go. But it was exciting because you got to do the planning, you got to order the furniture, you got to order the beds. There was, you know, there was a whole team together. We would all meet and discuss and plan. So it was kind of thrilling. We had no policies in place or procedures. So we had to write all the policies and procedures and assign the patient rooms for patients. As the volunteers used to bring in vendors, and the vendors would be in the hallways and they would be selling stuff for staff and everybody else. When I first started working in the laboratory, we did not have an electronic patient record. We did not have a laboratory information system. So much of the testing that we had conducted at that time was all manual. And when we wanted to communicate results, it would be by telephone. We were called the paperless hospital. We were one of the first hospitals to use computers. All the nursing station had desktop computers, which we thought just, isn't this, isn't this remarkable? In 1980, we opened the hospital for the first time. Uh, I was the hand surgeon, the only hand surgeon, and did the first hand case at Sony Brook. The first Joint Commission visit was in 1980, and everybody prepared for that and everyone worked together to do whatever we needed to do for the success of the hospital. In February of 1981, we performed the first kidney transplant on Long Island. New hospital, new program, first case, live donor. There was a lot of tension around it. You know, the maturation, not only of that program, but of many programs throughout the institution has been enormous. Well, I'm proud to be at Stony Brook, to be a part of this vibrant community of clinicians, investigators, and I'm proud that Stony Brook, wherever I go, you know, I've been speaking in different parts of the country, Stony Brook is very well known and highly respected. Stony Brook University Hospital and Stony Brook University have had a very close collaboration from day one and have mutually reinforced one another's development. Thanks to the hospital, we've been able to develop you know, the leading public university medical school, uh, the Renaissance School of Medicine in the state of New York. The hospital itself is one of the 100 best hospitals uh, in the country with respect to clinical outcomes. We have expanded our research portfolio we have really focused on cancer. We now stand on the verge of becoming an NCI-designated cancer center. Our neurosciences are amazingly good. Uh, our imaging center, experimental imaging center, is really second to none. We have partnered up with the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences to build an engineering-driven medicine institute. And that is really going to take off. The biggest change over the years, especially in the last few years, I believe, has been the growth of the medical center. Not just in terms of the medical centers within our four walls, but the growth of our health system. We've brought on additional hospitals uh, with our friends and partners at Stony Brook Southampton Hospital and Stony Brook Eastern Long Island Hospital, as well as our Comac Multi-Specialty Clinic and many, many other hospital outpatient facilities. One, two, three. Welcome. 
think the Mark building is really going to catalyze our cancer research and our cancer care for patients. I think the Children's Hospital is phenomenal. It's an amazingly quiet, patient-friendly, uh, and with all of the technology to make healthcare uh, greatly improved. There you go. We continue to develop what we call a clinically integrated network for our patients across Long Island. And in all these respects, we think the hospital itself is at the hub of a transformative and innovative healthcare system that serves the people uh, of Long Island and of New York State and will continue to do so for decades and decades to come. The future is bright because we have so many outstanding people here. And I think people have begun to really appreciate that medicine is a team sport. When I think of specific memories, really, they're small and they're snippets. How a, a nurse can develop a relationship with a patient in 30 seconds. It's those special things. You're doing great. Either responding to a crisis, <laughs> It's hugs from other staff members when, when something has happened. It's definitely the people, the nurses, the aides, the physicians. It's across the board, it's the people that are just outstanding. You can't get the job done just because you have the tools. You have to have the people who have the capacity physically, mentally, and ingenuity to, to do things. And uh, so you need the physicians, the surgeons, the nurse, the administrator, uh, the individuals that keep the physical structure running, the snow off the roads, everybody. It's a team effort and it will always be that way. The people who work here every single day, who give their all, give their hearts, provide that compassionate care that helps people to heal. If it weren't for the people who are really the fabric of the organization, we wouldn't have the clinical outcomes we have, we wouldn't have the reputation that we have, and we wouldn't be a quality and patient safety award-winning organization. I really believe that our greatest strength is people. Happy 40th birthday, Stony Brook University Hospital. Congratulations, Stony Brook. Congratulations, Stony Brook. It's been a fabulous 40 years. Happy 40th anniversary, Stony Brook University Hospital. Congratulations, Stony Brook. Happy birthday, Stony Brook. Congratulations. Happy 40th birthday, Stony Brook University Hospital. Congratulations, Stony Brook University Hospital, on 40 years of success. This is just the beginning.